The Bible says that those that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. I have always thought that the exploit that we are that, that exploit is maybe healing people, doing miracles and stuff like that. But no, I have come to realize that the exploit really is standing for your faith. In the face of intense persecution, in the face of intense pain and suffering, is standing for your faith. If you look at the exploit, for example, in the book of Daniel, what are the exploits that happen in the life of Daniel? Because of his faith, he was thrown into the lion's den. And he dare not renounce his faith. Because of his faith, they plot all kind of evil against him. And he dare not renounce his faith. If you look at the three Hebrew boys, when they came before uh, Nebuchadnezzar, that story, every time I think about it, I wonder what they hate that morning. They must have eaten something that gave them that confidence. But maybe they hate the Holy Spirit. I do not know. And they came before the king. And the king said to them, I heard that you did not bow to my statue. That their response is too direct. They did not, there was no decorum in it. They said, oh king, let us tell you. Because the king said, let me give you one more chance. Bow now before me so I will leave you. They said, oh king, don't waste your time. We are not bowing. Who dare speak to a king like that? They said, oh king, let it be known that we are not going to bow to your idol. If our God cannot save us, let us die in the fire. But we know our God will save us. Those were the exploits in the book of Daniel. Most of the time, the exploit that we are thinking is what? You raise the dead. That's an exploit as well. But the exploit that is going to happen in the last days is going to be an exploit of standing for your faith. Thank you for watching! Remember to join us on Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. for Bible study. And on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m.